We had some severe flooding, mainly in the business district. It came from the Bay to Second Avenue here. This past weekend, we had a lot of homeowners in town who were cleaning out their homes uh, and their garages, especially basements. A week and a half after a nor'easter and a blizzard hit the Jersey Shore, residents have moved from cleaning up outside to take care of inside. After the storm, the residents are allowed to clean out the, anything that was storm damaged with the salt water. Vegetative debris will pick up at separate appliances, computers. Those items are all separated depending upon what they are and they're all recycled material that we haul out to the uh, local MUA facility. The Public Works Department of Stone Harbor has been picking up couches to refrigerators and everything in between. The items are separated from debris, wood and stone that the department has also been picking up and are in storage until they can get all of the material off of the island. It makes you sad when you see some of the stuff that's that's out on the curb, but uh, at the same time, it has to be done. A number of our businesses have rubber floors and walls and everything that they got water and it was a pain in the neck. They had to get in there and clean it out, but uh, it wasn't as bad as, as the cleanup from Sandy. Aside from cleaning up damaged furniture, electronics and debris from all over the island, Public Works has been busy cleaning up the beach. Just to give you a little bit of perspective, before Nor'easter Jonas, the sand level was actually right here at my head, but the storm took away the sand and left behind mountains of debris. We have some areas, of course, that are worse than others, some that we can repair without too much trouble. Other areas, it's, it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of time to make the repairs and, and have it ready to go for the summer. I'm Nina Barati for SNJ Today.